Off we go, off we go. We're doing Igloo Ghost. Lay Line Eon. I love Igloo Ghost. I think he's an unbelievably talented producer. When it comes to mastering, loudness, and mixing, like his shit sounds ridiculous, bro. It's fucking crazy, especially with how many layers going on. I don't know how he makes it sound so clean. Man. His beats are always so dynamic, so textural, and it's, it's, I'm excited to hear the whole record. This is the whole second album from Igloo Ghost. I am pumped. Oh, Jesus. What, what presets is, are you using? Oh my days. Igloo, Seamus, Seamus. Seamus on you for being good at what you do. Bark, bark. Oh my God, this is about to be a fucking journey and a half, isn't it? Oh. Lovely, lovely. His music always sounds so purposeful, like, it sounds like he storyboarded it before he made it, you know? Maybe I should do that. I never do that. <laughs> I just open up a new project, drag in a sample, and just <laughs> chuck a few drums on it. But it truly sounds like I can hear Igloo Ghost visualizing it as he's making it. It's like a whole plan, a whole, a whole story. It's a very quiet passage right now. But it feels, it feels, again, very purposeful. This feels so much more dramatic already than uh, Neo Wax Bloom. Neo Wax Bloom, the intro on that, was more kind of bubbly and zany. This is like, end of the world type. Oh. I already heard the song when it came out. I forgot it. Like, I really did forget it. I only heard it once. I'm just hearing it again. Fuck. Joe, do not call me in the middle of it. Look up. How is this going to lead into the next track? That's what I want to do. Pure Grey Circle is track two. I'm going to just let it play. Leyline. I just heard <laughs> someone say Leyline. Ooh, sounds like some Linkin Park shit. Those vocals. <laughs> Some beautiful shit. You never see it come. Oh, the strings have been going off for the last minute as well. I can't lie. This really does sound to me like the next logical evolution for Igloo Ghost sound. I remember hearing people talk about that Igloo Ghost is sort of a one-trick pony in a sense, to where his music always sounds kind of the same. It's always that like super hyper fast, crazy bass heavy, mad wild electronic bang and stuff. But this sounds nothing like Neo X. Nothing like the EPs, nothing like XYZ, this sounds like the next logical step. The large dramatic cinematic feel it has, like this really, really fits. That was a great song. Great, great song, man. Track 2, track 3. Silk Fossil. Jesus. Christ. To be fair, to be fair, this song I feel like it does sound in the same way as Neil Max, for sure. But the sound design is definitely improved, it's different. It feels like there's much more intricate design onto each sound. Oh, the Man, if I didn't make beats, I would literally be convinced that Igloo Ghost is an alien. I'm glad I have some more of a picture of how shit like this is doing with Igloo If I didn't, I would be like, yo, Igloo Ghost can't be human. Bro. Some of those noises I actually thought were coming from, <laughs> from my house. That's how vivid they are. That's a different drum sound video, you know? It's kind of too standish. Alright, alright. Now dead serious, dead serious. Igloo Ghost has to score the next Zelda game. Breath of the Wild 2, better the soundtrack by Igloo Ghost. I'm fucking serious. Like seeing the world of Breath of the Wild 2, being revealed to this song would be like overwhelming. Big Protector. I've heard this song a couple times. It's some of the most ridiculous sound design I've heard in my life. This is the most like I've ever been by <laughs> by an Igloo song in regards to just the sound 
craftsmanship. This is a much more patient... I felt like people that were not huge on Neo Wax Bloom because it was so non-stop, like, constantly, will appreciate this record a bit more because it is a bit more subdued, a bit more patient. Here it comes. Oh. I love this bit. I love this bit. I love this part of the track. I was saying this to my boy earlier. Right after you hear that insane textural mind warping sound design, you have this bit where he just chucks in like a clap. Igla Ghost is not above just chucking a trap beat in there because <laughs> it just sounds dope. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this song, bro. This is a sick track. Oh fuck! Amu is on here. Oh damn it. I didn't even realize that. Bro, I didn't even realize this. Amu is on the record as track number eight. It says Amu Disc Mod. Which the original song did not say disc more. Is this like a new version of Army? Hello! Hi! Can I miss your coffee? <gasps> You're the greatest, I love you. I know. I love you too. Have fun! Kaylee Queen! I know have coffee, which is perfect for the Igloo Ghost, in my opinion. Track 6, we're on track 6, sorry. UI Birth, featuring Baby. I would like to just say right now, by the way, Igloo Ghost has the best snares in the game, period. No producer has more. Perfect snares, but they could go. You know how horrible it is when you hear a good beat and the snares are just a little bit off? Like, no other element in a beat is more detectable to be off than a snare. Ooh, I love it when you show it down. I love it when you. Oh, that crunch! Oh my god! Is he gonna go like full on DMV? Oh my god, he is, he is. This time... Bruh. That was the dirtiest bass of all time. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, that song was kind of on a mad one, bro. Zones you can't see. There's seven seconds there. Oh my god. What the? Oh. This sounds incredible. Okay. Okay. This fucking dude. What are you doing, Edward? You're building some shit up right now. I can sick and hear it. He's rapping in a different la- in a non-existent language by now he's just, I guess. And it's about to go fucking- Oh my god, here we go. This is fun. He's shit. Okay, we're still filming it up. Hold it up and drop the fucking beat, please! Bruh! That was cool, but like... Now oh, come on, you need to, you know what you need to do. Sounds good. It's restraining itself too much right now. I want it to explode. It's not exploding. Alright, alright, I don't think, okay, okay. I feel like there's a missed opportunity with that track. I don't want to be disappointed, or, you know, I want to like, criticize the song for not doing what I wanted it to do, but, but it felt too clear as day what needed to happen in that track, you know. Here comes Amu, disc mod, track number eight, okay. This already definitely sounds like a... Okay, this is not the same song. Oh. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Igloo Ghost, so I think he's amazing at basses. 
He's really got a great ear for bass. I think I prefer the original Armin, but this definitely sounds like if you were to make Armin more appropriate for this album's context, this is what you would do to it. So it feels logical, but I would say I do prefer the OG Armin. But I wouldn't prefer that version of Armin to be in this album, you know? Man, I'm, I must say, I like the warmth this album has, you know? Like he's incorporating the strings and the plucked guitars and the harps and shit like that. It gives it a much more like welcoming, warm touch, you know? Track nine's about to start, Soil Bolt. What a record this has been, huh? Wow, here we're coming into the, the final, final moments here. Okay, this intro is a little long-winded. Getting very quiet now. I like this. I'm enjoying this part. I, I'm enjoying this part. I love this fucking <laughs> sound design, dude. I love it. It sounds like some spaceship with like little loops and loops going on. This is this is possibly the most restrained track so far, man. Wow. Man, this album's a fucking adventure. Like he's really trying to get you to just sink into the atmospheres of this one and just like paint a picture more so than he was with his, uh, his previous stuff. New Wax Bloom felt like it was trying to get you amped up and energized at every moment. This album was more interested in establishing a universe. Oh. Man, this shit really does make you feel like you're un under some sort of huge power, like some sort of magnificent just Unexplainable creature is just here. It's just how it feels. This shit. All right, Yellow Umbra. This is the last song on the record, the final track. Here we go. Let's just soak in this one, and let's just. God. Did fucking Megatron produce this? Where <laughs> I go into serum, all I can make is just some default flume chord. <laughs> we got horns now too, come on mate. You already had everything else. Of course you have a horn shit. Oh, this really does feel like a finale so far. And um, we're far from done. Right. Vocal chance coming back. <laughs> These insanely textural sounds just keep happening. And, like, Bro, it takes so fucking long to get anything close to that. The fact that happening so frequently, like, God, this must have been an absurd time sink to get all these sounds as as perfect as they seem. Oh. Yeah, this, I really feel like I've gone, what? And that's it. And that's the album. Album is done. All right, Igloo Ghost, if you are watching this video by any chance, I ain't got no advice to give you. You've got advice to give me. <laughs> that's it, man. And uh, I mean, I'm enjoying just everything you're creating. I'm, I'm just enjoying the process, the content. If I had to pay you like 50 pounds right now to listen to this album one more time, and that's the only way I could ever listen to it again, I would gladly do that. That's gonna conclude my video. Thank you for watching my reaction to Leyline Eon by Igloo Ghost. Please go check out the record for yourself. Some amazing visuals on YouTube for this record too. Uh, just yeah, all around. Nothing but big ol' thumbs up from me, man. Bye!